indicated in the morning that in the morning that your lordship may detail some of the matters just that one matter about the notice provision because you know i remember that came up before but brother nasima and me in a two judge bench he said ke matter capable of being handled by any other bench also we will have next equably inter interlink bullets in our petition for instance we have challenged but mr ramchandran that notice issue applies equally to heterosexual no, couples and no, and no, same sex no, couples no, no, it would be more appropriate for your lordships to decide that because we've already argued and secondly we will rejoin you know It's eminently reasonable that this this issue huh? be decided. Yes. They have taken that point, but it's not a five judge issue. It's a very simple issue of uh, at the outset. I had pointed out that this is wrongly tagged. If your lordship uh, recollects, as far as our petitions are concerned, minutes the right to marry we contain minutes. So your lordship remember the group which I represented. It would be illusory unless the notice provisions go because the but that itself that issue. Is not an issue which is why generalized to same-sex couples. No, correct. Right. According to you, according yes, to you, one second. According to you, the right to marry even of a heterosexual couple Let's is illusory. If I have to step in and give 15 days notice, then you know, have you know, people raise objections about the, the, that's the point. So it has absolutely no connect with the uh, issue of whether same-sex couples should have a right to marry. It has it's irrelevant to that. The only reason I would urge your lordship, you know, it's a constitutional issue because. Runaway couples, both heterosexual and homosexual. Ah, uh, Mr. Grover, it's an important social issue, but not necessarily a constitutional issue for a constitution bench. These are but matters which right, every you know, day in and day out are two judges deciding. Mr. Grover, private, but based before your right to privacy. Just see what that's the matter. Freedom of association are actually implicated. They are constitutional issues. It's eminent that the constitution bench decides it. Because that be a two judge. Constitutional issue can be decided by a two or three judge bench. But nineteen one not B and A and twenty one we are raising. Yes, it's yes, but Mr. Mr. Grover, my lord, even nineteen one A, Shreya Singhal was not Shreya five. Shreya Singhal was nine. Many of these judgments are not five judges. Everything no, should not be sure elevated to the level of. Already, already, it would be more appropriate. We can't, we can't. Yes, sir. <laughs> the only request is your lordship may take a call after the hearing. All after the hearing. hearing. One that's second, one second. Let's take the, the path of least oh. resistance. <laughs> Let it so displays on his legs. Let's complete hearing, Mr. Yeah. Lordship. Yeah. Lordship. 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 We'll just and then we'll, 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 but we are putting to you what we'll then put to you at the end yes, of it all also. <laughs> yes, Mr. Solicitor. Wait. Now, Mr. Solicitor, one request. Please wrap up now as quickly as you can. I, I, you have covered the issue of legislative amendments. I think broadly. I mean, now it's a question of us reading your uh, detailed submission. But only, now, what what remains in this limb of your submission? But only I want to complete Gedan, and this is over. Which one? Gedan, my lord. Gedan, all right. Gedan, and th this is over, my lord. And my lord, by the end of today, I'll be my lord uh, able to assist your lordships with regard to rest of the issues of fundamental but, rights, uh, my lord, claim, etc. Lord, your lordships, where on? Page Ideally, if you can wrap up today by three thirty, we'll be able to go home, and my, I, I will be here till late in the night, uh, evening. My learned brothers can go home and get with, get down to tomorrow's files. <laughs> I'll, 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 my lord. Yes. Uh, lord, lord that reason, reason is such a strong, my lord. Prima facie strong case that <laughs> I, I can do nothing, my lord, about it. <laughs> so very strong reason, my lord. I'll, I'll conclude that. My lord, kindly come to page eighty-three, my lord. 87 PDF. Yes, Lord, I was reading Wilkinson, my Lord. Post get done, my Lord. And I'll read, my Lord, only the highlighted part so that I can skip the rest. Bef and before your Lordship, Miss Dinesh Rose raised with leave an entirely new point on behalf of Mr. Wilkinson. She submitted that it was possible to read section two. We do and we do. Yes, yes. Can't they say you can't read the one into the other? Yeah, yes, sir. Fair enough. I think let's keep this. You have seen that, no? You don't. Yes, sir. Now, my lord, uh, I have quoted the commentary of Benyon, my lord, on the constitutional scheme of British court, my lord, examining the in the power of judicial review, if I may use that expression, my lord, because British court, my lord, do do not have the power of judicial review, but uh, if your lordships permit, lord, there is one. Commentary. If your lordships can come to page ninety and <clears throat> the resemblance is purely coincidental, my lord, because this is the only book where I found, my lord, comparative study. I think. Britain. I think you better. 
uh, you, you better leave the book over there, you know, and you've cited it and that's about all, I think. <laughs> but as a matter of fact, this matter would be the only matter possibly where all three generations are cited. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the lighter side. But, yeah, but you are right, it's the only book on the subject, actually. Yeah, but I, we genuinely will not try and find out, uh, find out what is the comparative study if somebody has done between UK system of judicial review and our system of judicial review. Yeah. Lord, if your lordship, my lords must have read, my, lord, your lord, my lords have read it. My lord. What is the point which is being made in that lord, extract which you are saying? Can, you can formulate it as a, as a conceptual yeah, point. In yes, the conceptual point is this, my lord, that even in Britain, where they are something less, my lord, they have the power which is lesser than power to declare something unconstitutional, which is power to declare incompatibility, my lord, to remove incompatibility suggestion, to, to, to suggest removal of incompatibility also, even British court which relies on Gedan does not permit re-legislation or changing it so materially that it alters the uh, material. Uh, the grain or the texture. Grain or the mother that's Lord, the famous Jesse Lord may not want to you to read, but you can read this part. I think this is very relevant for your purposes. Page, uh, PDF page 91. And the last part, you know, the, of the quotation, the major distinction. Where are we? At, at the page top. 90, page 90. The major, yes, I'm, I'm obliged. Yes. Lord, I have, in fact, marked it in red in my, yes. uh, Lord, I'm, I'm grateful. The major <laughs> distinction between three-stage analysis conducted in India and the UK is the point at which courts progress from one stage, from stage two to stage three. Two factors indicate that stage two is prolonged in the UK since courts in the UK have a larger interpretative toolbox at their disposal than their Indian counterparts. First, unlike British courts which are quite prepared to adopt the technique of reading in to protect statutory provisions, Indian courts which frequently read down legislation consider reading in as an illegitimate interpretative technique. It is in the absence of a Section 3 type mandate, Indian courts remain unwilling to adopt this technique on account of the fact that unlike reading down, reading in involves extending the application of a statute to areas beyond parliamentary contemplation. Yeah. Here, my lord, everyone suggested reading up, not even reading up, reading something into it which was not, my lord, even intended. Now, my lord, I'll come to the second limb of my submissions, my lord. And, my lord, these are the propositions, my lord. Therefore, actually, Mr. Uh, Solicitor, is very interesting because we have a much wider power of judicial review. Yes. Therefore, our interpretive techniques are somewhat narrower, more narrower, narrower. than they in the UK. Because, yes. because the court in the UK does not have the power to strike down as we have. Therefore, they Therefore, have, they have a wider. The limit is technique. this. Under Section 3, they can make it compatible. compatible. They can make it compatible with the convention or, or declare non compatible both, both are possible. So th th those are the only possibilities. Yes, or or they declare that it is not compatible under section six. If they say so, then to make it compatible, it is left to the parliament. Parliament. So in that sense, it's a it's a kind of a continuous uh, interface between the two organs. Therefore, my lord, the only last Bottom line submission is reliance on Gedan and specifically the paragraphs relied upon were not relevant. That's the respectful sir. So this takes us beyond Gedan, the interpretation here. Yes, my lord. And therefore, the limits of the jurisdiction is narrower. My lord, this is my summary of my lord, uh, submissions on the constitutional point, my lord.